I showed you this photo early in the year and talked about how Vincent, working down in Costa Rica, developing websites, last I heard, uh, for clients around the world, and Samar moving up to Silicon Valley and getting paid an insane amount of money uh, for his skill set in bioinformatics. Um, how these two guys helped develop the first gamification system in the Mac lab that worked beyond my hand tallying. It had a level of automation built in, which gave me a lot more time to live my life. But this photo was taken. I said, hey, guys, get up against the board near AMP and let me take your photograph. And I had just recently written this, just recently encountered it and coined this acronym. They got it. They understood this and they embraced it and ran with it, as did a lot of other kids. Back then, you're not going to believe this. I, you know, yeah, kids came in before school and at lunch, but I had Saturday school every other week. And every other week, I would open the Mac Lab at 5.30 in the morning and keep it open till noon. And parents would come in with their kids saying, what did my kid do? Why are they in trouble? <laughs> They're not in trouble. We're doing cool stuff. And they wanted to come in. And, you know, it was it's like you probably don't believe it, but it happened. For years, it happened. So here we are today where things change, right? COVID really screwed up everything. But with setbacks come new opportunities. Now, this right here, the quote of the day, this is what I was thinking between GameStar Mechanic and World of Warcraft. And these four theories, these educational theories, the zone of proximal development, grit, growth, mindset, and flow, you can look these up, the researcher's name and the theory. Um, they tie directly to education. They're built around education, but they also apply to gaming and game mechanics and our experience when we're really enjoying playing or participating in whatever it is. So, with that history, I just want to suggest that I have an idea about how you and I might contribute. And when I say you, I mean a handful of you. Just like uh, 12 kids followed through through that summer in 2011 helping develop our first system, I have an idea for something that will be implemented beyond when we're here, after you graduate or leave Valhalla, and after I leave. That'll come later. For right now, let me just tell you, tomorrow you got a sub. I want you to be on your best behavior. I will reveal some of the high-ticket items I'm going to offer um, as, you know, opportunities for you to spend your loot. But if they're high-ticket items, you're going to need to be doing your job, right, to have enough loot in order to purchase it. So we'll get to that. But just for right now, take advantage of this opportunity because it's not going to roll around again. This is the last year in the Mac Lab for me, and there's no guarantees the Mac Lab will be around next year. I don't know what's going to happen. So right now, let's make some history together. And a big apology for me from not keeping up with your journals. I've you know, part of the reason I'm not going to be here tomorrow is I'm seeing the doctor about what's going on. And, uh, you know, stuff happens. And they cut me some slack. And we'll get through this. And I'll get your posts read before the 12-week uh, progress report.